Good morning. So I paddled in this morning. It is Sunday and typically all the markets are closed afternoon. So I woke up early. I headed to town. I got baguettes. I got pineapple. I tried to get a little fish, um, but already at 630 it is slim picking. So, um, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous morning. And today we, after we have our croissants and baguettes and coffee we are going to take scooters and tour around Huahini with Sarah and Gary and looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day because the next few days after that it's gonna rain like a lot of rain so I'm gonna take advantage of the day and uh, check things out but I got my baguettes I love that I can seriously paddle to shore and get baguettes it's the best Good morning. You guys want the baguette? Yes. Is it? What else you get? <laughs> How'd it go? It went well. I got baguettes. I got fiery fiery, which is like a donut basically. Pineapple. I didn't get eggs or fish. They're out of both. No eggs. There is fish. It's a bunch of parrot fish and like the little tiny red ones. Oh no. Uh, no tuna. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for going. But it's kind of lively this morning. Yeah, yeah. pretty busy. Yeah. Sweet. Well is done. Is coffee ready? Yes, it is. Come on. All right, team. We're ready to go? Let's go explore. Yeah. Let's go get some air. Oof, yeah, it is. It is very hot. stagnant today. Very, very hot. I think the scooter is going to help. Oh. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, let's go get moving. Uh, windows. We got the windows, yeah? I checked. Good job. Lord. The bathroom was wide open and the other side front one was all the way open. But I took care of it. It is so flat, calm right now. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. Look at all of those. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Our uh, excursion today is going to be a little drier than, than last the last time. time. Boy, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. This is our second trip to this island, and so now second time driving around it by scooter. I don't want to copy what we showed previously or overdo things, but the island is truly captivating with some very special spots. And it wasn't difficult at all to find plenty of things along the way that we hadn't caught on the first go around. First up is a local pearl farm. Gary and Sarah had never seen one and we were happy to pull off and take a short, free boat ride over to the little hut which was at one point part of the main operations, but today has been revamped as a cute little showroom and demonstration platform for the farm. They did a great job dressing up this hut and an even better job of demonstrating how the pearls are cultivated. First by opening mature oysters, then carefully and painstakingly inserting an irritant or a nucleus to which the oyster will grow a pearl from over the next several years. It's always been interesting to see how much work goes into this, but hey, I guess that's why they bring so much money at market.
the second, we made sure to stop by a very unique spot here on this island. This is this is where we picnic. Snack time. Anyone for lunch? <laughs> it's a freshwater inlet river where a very special breed of eel live. There's one. Here. Oh my gosh. So these are, um, they call them the sacred eels. Look, here's a big one right here, guys. They are well known and respected for having pale blue eyes and are somewhat revered or even considered by some to be carrying the souls of departed loved ones. It's a bit of an attraction here, and apparently they just love mackerel, so who are we to disappoint? It's very curious. Islanders here are proud of their heritage, and rightfully so. They have carved a beautiful life here in paradise, and have had to work damn hard to get here and to not only survive, but even thrive here. And there were plenty of places to stop and learn more about this beautiful and history-rich island. So these guys are the original canoes that they would come here in, and they call them va'a. It's V-A apostrophe A. So va'a, va'a. And this would be like a really, really big one where a family would be there, and they would live in that to get here for sometimes weeks. Pretty impressive that they did this before any other recorded sailing, really. Pretty impressive. Do you know what these things are? Cowrie shells? No, octopus lures. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. They're really pretty. Yeah, they are.
very much in the safe part of the channel and you can tell kind of by the color you know you can see where it gets quite shallow and so we're still quite in the wow smooth i love sailing inside these lagoons it's just so calm yeah well no you got him set yeah, I think we got them set, so I was just explaining, since we are going downwind and we just set the autopilot rather than adjusting right away, let her kind of get her bearings straight and reading where she's at. Yep. Downwind is a little harder. And especially when we go this slow. What are yeah. we doing? Two knots? Three knots? Uh, two. Yeah. yeah. 2.1. But it's for free. And guys, I just want to draw your attention right yeah. over in that area. It is, we left at just the right time. We all need showers. We're still yeah, good. that's true. We all need showers. We do. <laughs> yep. I, I won't let them run the water. No. I let Pretty them. Brutal. I just. I let them. I just discourage it. For those of you who have been on the boat, you know. I you just, issued an eyedropper when you get in. <laughs> Use your drops all, wisely. That's all you get. Yeah. 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 Highly discouraged. That's all. And we'll probably get another blow with this rain. Yeah. yeah it's gonna come right yep. in front of it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so now take a second to recover because right now all we've got is the starboard motor pushing right. us forward, so if it wants to go this way, it would, anyways. She'll come back around. It is a coming. Uh, is it wet yet? It's starting to drizzle a little bit. All right, Not here we bad. go. Refreshing mist. Nice. We decided to head south to a nice little anchorage that we knew from our last visit here to Huahini. One that was beautiful, somewhat secluded, and where we actually sat pretty comfortably through a solid week-long storm. So it seemed like a good plan since the weather outlook for us was a lot of wind and some potential for some solid thunderstorms. Some of which we were already getting a little taste of. I'm closing this. You guys are on your own. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, if I knew how to do this. So I have opted out of sailing and running the boat today because we have crew and we might as well and I'm editing a video but the crew has done really good today I think it's kind of a challenging course yeah, it was. It was today. definitely a challenge. It got narrow. It goes, yeah. yeah. And the captain like had to intervene from time to time, so That's thank right. you, Warren. Appreciate That's it. Okay. Well, you did great. Okay. Yep. Good training day. Yep. And here we are. Here we are. Welcome to paradise. Welcome to paradise. Again. Again. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, why. This anchorage, although very attractive and pretty protected, is actually quite challenging to anchor at. Given that the choice is either dropping the hook in about 80 feet of water in the center, in about 5 feet on the outer sand bank, or in about 20 feet along the shore bank. But the catch there is that it's littered with a bunch of coral bombies. We're over it. Okay, alright. We're over it, go back. Okay, we're going, we're going. Where is it? Oh, I see I it. I got it, I'll get it. It's right here, Gary. So go ahead forward on starboard, or port, sorry, port. Forward. So it was a very welcome surprise to see that in our month or so of being away, the island had installed new moorings along both the sandbank and along the shore. Oh, nicely done. All right. Cowboy. You get that on film? Sure did. Woo! <laughs> right on. We did it. It's like a drop off right here. And then shallow. Crazy. Yeah. Woo. I didn't even get you jumping in. It looks like I'll have to do it again. <laughs> now. Woo. There's. It's so warm. Yeah. I wonder what the water temperature actually is. You jump in the water and you warm up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This spot has always been good to us, between the protection from the storms to the abundant life below the surface, making for spectacular snorkeling. And once submerged, I immediately noticed two things. First, two beautiful spotted eagle rays, my favorite, swimming quite close to the boat, clearly here to welcome us in. And speaking of close, secondly, I noticed how close the keel and the rudder were to the damn sandbank. It literally looks like we're gonna hit it. 
I guess the moorings were put in place for boats with less draft, but it was a simple fix. We simply slipped that ball and went down the line to another that had just a bit more distance from the sand shelf. It wasn't perfect, but definitely gave us a bit more depth and distance from the bottom. The kiddos have gone to town. <laughs> Our crew has gone to town, town, town in search of maybe some food. I stayed aboard to put everything away and clean up. I should have probably gone off because I might not have much opportunity in the next three to four days. We're supposed to have a, another really nasty blow come through. It's odd. We get to this island. <laughs> I don't know if it's just our luck or if maybe it's this island. But if you remember the last time we were here, we had a nasty storm in this anchorage. Now they have mooring balls set up and we're in a different spot. I mean, either way, it's fine. The boat was safe last time, except for that other guy. They're gonna hit us. They're gonna hit us, honey. So, it's good. They're stretching their legs because we might just kind of be stuck on the boat for about four days. So we'll see what happens today. It's certainly pretty nice. No real complaints. I mean, it's not super sunny and there's super big storm clouds everywhere around us, but right now it's quite pleasant here. So I think we're going to batten down the hatches. Hatches? We're going to bat batten down the hatches and just stay put until this thing blows over and then we can continue exploring the island and move on to the next, I guess. We're kind of way towards Bora Bora, so that's exciting. There's some other really beautiful islands here too that you've probably never heard of. I hadn't. Taha. You hadn't heard of it, neither had I, but we're gonna go explore them all. So that's a quick little update for you guys. It probably wasn't really that quick, but I'm bored. Expectations are weird sometimes. They can go either way. This morning we expected to wake up to wind, waves, and a whole lot of rain. But man, what we got was a whole lot more. Where did you come from, Sarah. beautiful? Go for that way, honey. He's coming around. What is happening? Oh, oh. 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 my. <laughs> Where did you come from, beautiful? I want one of these so bad. Is this Happy. for real? Holy beautiful. You gotta get in the water with this thing, it's so beautiful.
The manta was off and there was no way we were catching him. But man, what an experience. What a surprise. But it was a BEA beautiful day with no rain on the horizon and an incredible amount of sea life all around. So we decided to make the most of it and swim some nearby coral patches. And what a great decision that turned out to be.
rewarding gift. Oh man. <laughs> that was amazing. What yeah. A, what a surprise too. Yeah, no storm and a manta. <laughs> she just like, all of us jumped up. We're like, what was that noise? And then all of a sudden you look over expecting this little fish and there's this giant manta. <laughs> Huge manta, whoa. <gasps> right by the boat. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, Man, where is this storm that we've heard so much about? Hey, don't do that again. Last time you said something like this on the camera, it smacked us hard. Hard. Woo. It's gonna get crazy, guys. Got more boats pulling in. I guess it's kind of like a safe harbor for everybody, safe anchorage. Man, I'm glad I'm not them. I think we better just settle into this for the next few days. <laughs> I think this is about what it's supposed to be. Nothing we can't handle or nothing we're not used to though. Hey, good woman. You get a quarter raise. Another. <laughs> Another quarter raise. Cheers. <laughs> See that kind of service? Woo. Mm. Oh, little rum and coke to keep wow. us warm. Nice. Teach them how we play gin rummy. Call it Val rummy. Val rummy. Val rummy. Val rummy. Val rummy. Val rummy.